Now, artists and arts organizations of all sizes are having conversations about diversity, inclusion, and authentic representation. A small regional theater company in Boulder is taking action with their world premiere of a play called Paper Cut. It's about a soldier returning from war, only to find he's got to confront a battlefield right here at home. Arts District reporter Eden Lane shows us how they are including authentic voices in their work. If you make a backstage visit during Tech Week of a world premiere production, you can expect to find the lead actor reviewing script changes and the crew diligently transforming the space. But with a closer look, you discover how much work went into telling this soldier's story authentically, beginning with the playwright, Andrew Rosendorf. I just was like surfing the internet and trying to figure out what I should be doing. And then I stumbled across this series of Huffington Post articles that David Wood reported on. And in that, it was about soldiers returning back from Afghanistan. And some of that had to do with the type of injuries they were sustaining and our country not being prepared for those type of injuries. More soldiers were surviving on the battlefield than had ever before because of medical advances, because of using tourniquets on the battlefield. And so there were uh, lasting implications for what that meant for those soldiers that were returning wounded. And with this play, it was written in mind of having to have an actor who also happens to have uh, an amputation. Um, I wrote it with uh, intentionally in a way that you really couldn't produce it without that. And I've been fortunate over the last few years to uh, have like two workshops with Summer Carbuccia, who is uh, doing the play here, and uh, kind of uh, collaborate in that way with him. This important collaboration isn't stunt casting. Summer earned his BFA in acting at the NYU Tisch School of the Arts, and he shared his thoughts about authenticity in casting. You find in the industry often that recently they've been calling us in a lot. You know, casting directors are always on our side. So they call us in for the roles that are, you know, amputee specific or wheelchair bound specific, any person with disability. But very often we don't get cast, which is frustrating. So why do you think that is? Uh, I think I think it's a top down thing. It might be, you know, producers are concerned or, you know, at some level there's concern about uh, ability to do the job or at, at, you know, at the end of the day, like, can you bring in ticket prices? But I, I think we found that authenticity is selling right now. But for me specifically, this role is really important because he doesn't really focus on the disability part of it as much. Um, he's just trying to figure out his life post um, Afghanistan um, and the disability is just kind of a part of his life and what he does. And uh, you know, that's important because the stories are sometimes just all about overcoming the disability or you know everyone else's reaction to their family member's disability or something. So it, it's refreshing to see um, someone running the gambit of human emotions um, who happens to be an amputee. So, Andrew? When I choose a new play, I think the, my greatest task as a director is to make sure that the right people are at the table while we're developing a work. So in this case, we asked Andrew who he needed to be at the table to tell the story. And it was a, an acting pool that represented accurately who was represented in the play, but it was also a dramaturg, making sure that he had veterans in the rehearsal process that were engaged with us and checking authenticity of things like costumes and language. Summer considers himself an actor with a disability, and to be sure they were portraying military life authentically, the production team consulted several veterans, including Rex Lacey. I was in the Marines from 92 till 2013, and I'd been in Afghanistan a majority of 2012, which took place right after, you know, when this play, uh, play had been portrayed. I, you know, had wanted to make sure that the play was non-anti-military. Yeah, you know, I didn't mind it if it was anti-war. I just didn't want to be anti, you know, USA or anti-military. But I actually came and spent a couple hours with the cast, and then the majority of the afternoon we just spoke about, you know, concepts and realism and we had to change a few things that would make it realistic. But it was so well written, I, did, I really don't think I did that much. But Andrew, you could tell, had done a significant amount of research. They wanted to get it right. I was like, you know what, these people, these civilians really want to make this real and they want to honor the veterans. And I really, you know, that was just, oh, I, I love them, they're great. What are your thoughts about insisting that a character who has a physical disability is played by an actor 
who also has a physical disability? Um, I, th I think that that is super uh, important, and at the end of the day, I feel like someone with the disability would be able to bring a level of authenticity that someone else might not have. Um, you know, they don't know what it's like to lose a limb. They don't know what it's like to, in this show, go through phantom pain. You know, those are very specific things um, that have to do with um, certain disabilities. So, you know, calling us in more <laughs> is, is important, but also being able to, to cast those people, um, I think, as well. We're moving in the right direction, right? I feel like we're going for more authentic, uh, authentic casting now. And you know, that doesn't mean exclude anyone else as well, but you know, there are a wide range of actors, a wide range of performers and artists. And it, it also doesn't just have to do with, and I don't think this is what you meant, but it doesn't have to just do with casting, right? It's like get playwrights that are um, on the spectrum of uh, society, get um, you know producers involved, get, um, on all levels, I think you need to start having a wider range of voices, and that will begin to trickle down. Makes for richer stories. It does make for richer stories, yeah. And, you know, it lets other people in your audience see themselves uh, represented on stage. Local theater company and playwright Andrew Rosendorf's commitment to authenticity and inclusion earned standing ovations and rave reviews. We close with director Pesha Rudnick. We have to be reflecting on stage or in novels or in films uh, who we really are in the world are much more diverse and that's what we need to see on stage. And I would take that further to say that if we are in a position of privilege then we have to be the ones who are making those decisions. We have to be the ones who are prioritizing where we put our resources. We're the ones who have to make those decisions and say yeah this matters. There's more information about upcoming projects at localtheaterco.org, plus more from the playwright at andrewrosendorf.com.